Oh, yes. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock. Welcome back to GameCube Month, which, by the way, is actually going to extend a little bit into February. So that's a little, you know, kind of destroys the idea of it being a month. We are back here with some F-Zero Jacks, which, by the way, is one of my all-time favorite games. Oh, my goodness. This game just does so many things right. Uh, we are going to dive into the Grand Prix as well as the story mode. It's just me here today. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know a lot of people that have a passion for F-Zero like I do, which is really making me think I need to find some new friends to hang out with. Um, let's do the Emerald Cup. I've got next to nobody unlocked, which is really embarrassing. Again, the memory card that had all the data is long since gone. I'm just going to go with Captain Falcon because you can't go wrong with Captain Falcon. The Emerald Cup. I really don't remember what tracks are in this. Uh, if you've never had the fortune of playing an F-Zero game, you gotta find it. I would definitely recommend F-Zero GX. Oh, wow, there are five tracks in this cup. Oh, we should be able to do those. I also want to show you guys some story mode, like I said. All right, let's get into this. One of the cool things is that you can adjust your max speed or acceleration. I like to go for acceleration a little bit more than max speed. And we can also change the color with L and R. Now, we gotta go with the true colors there. Look at that beast. Captain Falcon is... I, you know what? I'm not ashamed to admit it. Captain Falcon is sexy. I have a man crush on Captain Falcon, and I'm not afraid to admit that. This is the Cylinder Knot. This, in many ways, was ahead of its time. I mean, Mario Kart 8 is all about the anti-gravity thing, but this very course has anti-gravity in it. So let's do this. Oh, look at those contenders. Really cool character design in the F-Zero series as well. Uh, this is obviously known for being very, very fast-paced. Let's try and keep up. Oh, gosh, this is a GameCube game? This looks really good. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, there's also 30 characters on screen as well, you'll notice. I'm in 24th place out of 30. Well, not anymore. I'm in 28th. Uh, again, in case you're not very familiar with F-Zero, I can use a boost power after the first lap. So right now, it's all about just trying to cut the corners... Uh, as well as possible. It's been a long time. Oh, man, this could get you motion sick. I think I'm pretty good with it, though. Ooh. You want to just basically hit all those speed boosts. Uh, I used to remember where they are. This game is also devilishly difficult. But I mean that in a good way. Wow. You can also do this really interesting attack where you try to take out the other opponents with the X button. You, like hit over an X, and you can also hit over and Z, or you hit Z as well as a spin attack. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that when I'm trying to stay on the road. This will heal my vehicle, rejuvenate it. All right, you got boost power, you darn tootin' I do, Mr. Announcer. I'm gonna bash some of these punks in. So you'll notice on the right of the screen there, there's a skull. That means that I killed somebody. It's a nice feeling. Whoa! Now, you do have this really interesting strategy in F-Zero where, yeah, you can boost, but if you boost too much and you, you wear a lot of your energy down of your vehicle, you will explode. So there's this really great bit of strategy that you don't see in other racing games. Oh my gosh. This is a difficult one to start off with. I have not played F-Zero in so long. This is uh, jumping into hard mode. Listen to that music. Music makes me want to open up a can of tomato soup with my teeth. Up on the bottom of the beast here. Yep, so there's the siren. You look in the top right corner, you can see I'm pretty much... There we go. Yeah. For me, uh, my strategy for F-Zero GX is you kind of lay low, and then towards the last lap, at the very end, you boost like a madman. You make a... I, I was the comeback kid when it came to F-Zero GX. Man, is it just me, or is this game still gorgeous? 28th of 29. That's funny. Weren't there 30 racers before? I wonder what happened to one of the racers. I killed him. Yeah, this is a tricky one. I need to concentrate here. See, my problem is I'm not finding a lot of those boosts. The other one. There's one. Oh, I missed that one. Jeez, the guy behind me is being a jerk. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 my goodness! It's kind of interesting how uh, Mario Kart 8 doesn't have 
any levels that are just a cylinder like this. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Boost it, boost it, boost it, boost it, boost it. It looks like I got 17th. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's a weird place to get. That's almost about halfway into the mill, right? So that was terrible. Let's be honest. Oh, Black Bull. Look at Black Bull. All right. Twin Arita, I definitely remember Twin Arita. Those are two characters in one. Mad Wolf, Hinge Meteor, Wild Goose, Great Star, Space Angler, Hyper Speeder. Oh, look at these characters. I love it. All right, well, we're in 17th place. That's nothing to uh, gloat about at all. Let's proceed to the next one. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love the green planet. Or green plant. This is one of my faves. Uh, I think Mr. Miyamoto, and it could have just been something that was lost in translation, but I do recall many interviews that claimed Mr. Miyamoto said he wasn't happy with this game. Which to me just goes to show maybe Mr. Miyamoto doesn't totally know what he's always talking about. I love the man. I know he knows way more about game development than most people, but if he thinks this game was lackluster, he crazy. He needs to go make another new Super Mario Brothers game and tell me that F-Zero GX is lackluster. This one is... Oh. <laughs> I'm giddy. I don't know about you guys, but this is bringing back some memories. This is also one of the GameCube games that I never got rid of. There are maybe about five of them that I just always kept because I was so fond of them. Ooh, there's my rival. Let's kill him. Um, also, recently Mr. Miyamoto also said that there will be a new F-Zero game when a new controller comes out. Like, he said that it needs a new controller. Which to me is ridiculous, because none of Nintendo's games have ever really used their new controllers that well. Oh my gosh, whoa. I don't know, I think they're just dragging their feet. They need to make a new F-Zero game. The time is right. Oh gosh, this is... Pinpoint accuracy with the analog stick here. 29th out of 30. I am... I gotta get my... My groove back with this game. Let's kill my rival. Oh, he's he's asking for it. Yeah. Still haven't killed anybody? Yeah, I need to grind. I need to ride that. I need to ride the red zone. I would imagine watching this is a bit nauseating. <laughs> I'll zoom out a bit for you. There we go. Now things are going to heat up. Got to stay with the pack here. Yeah, I think it is a little bit better to play with the camera out a bit. Look at that smug rival. Yeah, the final lap. This was made by uh, AV Amusement. What is it? They're the team that made the Monkey Ball game. They're the team that actually used to make good Sega games. For some reason, Sega departed from them or something like that. I don't know what happened to them. This was when Sega actually made something good. Amusement Vision or something. It's like AV Amusement Vision. That's it. But uh, I guess Sega told them to hit the road because they were making Sega's games look like crap. We cannot get 17th place again. In fact, I actually don't think I'm going to finish this Grand Prix because I really want to do some of the single-player uh, story stuff. Look at that. Rival. All right, we're coming up on the end here. Boost it like you never boosted before. What did we get? 13th place. Look, Mom, I got 13th place. I'm not proud of you, Billy. This game's top six. Twin Arita bringing it up in first place. I like the old guy in sixth place. He's actually part of the story. All right, I'm going to do one more. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can finish this. Can we? Should we? I feel like we should. I got to get more comfortable here. I got to get... Ooh, Casino Palace. Then we got that one that's in like a lightning storm. And then, okay. I think we can handle this. At least I'm not dipping in my ranking. We went from 17th to 13th. Let's go for single digit this time. 
Oh my gosh! This looks nice! Huh. Alright. Yeah, this, oh, I can only imagine what F-Zero could look like on the Wii U. If it looks like this on a GameCube. Alright, you get to choose your direction in this one. I remember that. Some people are on the roof. Oh man, Mario Kart 8, you are so lame. You did not come up with the anti-gravity concept, because look, they're on the ceiling right here. Mario Kart 8 trying to steal F-Zero's thunder. Maybe that's why Mr. Miyamoto said that he didn't really like this game. Because it did something before Mr. Miyamoto and he's jealous. No, I doubt that's it. I'm just joking. Take it easy. I can hear the angry comments already. Oh, I took the wrong way. There's a little ramp one of those ways. This game is, uh... It's one of those games that really reminds me of the summertime. I believe it came out in the summer of probably 2002? 2003? Get out of here. So, uh, yeah, I, I have fond memories of playing this with uh, one of my cousins. We were trying to beat the story mode together. And we did, eventually. It is very challenging. It's a good thing I'm kind of practicing in this before I jump into story mode. Oh, go, go, go! Wow! Yeesh! Give me some of that juice, baby. Oh, no! And just like that, you are out. I can hit retry or quit. I'm going to go into, because uh, I feel like I'm failing way too hard in this. I need to kind of ramp it up a bit. I'm going to go into, uh, I could go to practice. Oh, that's right. Another huge element to F-Zero GX is that you can customize your vehicle. Holy crap! Mario Kart is such a poser. Are you, I totally, look at this. There's a garage and you can customize all your parts. But actually, I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I'm going to continue without saving. I don't have enough uh, room on this memory card. Oh my gosh, I totally did not draw the connection that Mario Kart 8 is just now catching up to what F-Zero GX did. Look at this, you got body parts, you got your cockpit part, uh, booster parts, and your pilot. And you can change the colors, and you can put little emblems, you can like custom design emblems. I mean, I'm not, I'm not putting down Mario Kart, I love Mario Kart. And I think Mario Kart 8 is okay, you know, I like what's in there. Uh, but wow, this game is ahead of its time, big time. Let's save replays, it's time attack versus battle, practice. All right, let's go into, is this story mode? This game's also in widescreen, I believe. You're watching it in widescreen right now, I'm pretty sure. All right, so we got three chapters unlocked. There's a lot more than this, but you have to like win the uh, Grand Prix to earn tokens that unlock your tickets. Craving another title, Falcon has trained tirelessly at his base. All right, we're going to do it on normal. Let's see if I can beat my record. My record was just under a minute. Oh, and look at these. You have, like, really high-quality FMV cutscenes to tell the story. And, like, look at this world. I want to see more of this world. F-Zero is such a great, cool franchise. This is, like, so unique. We'll watch all of this cutscene just because I'm in awe. Yeah, scan that beautiful beast's face. He's got really big thighs. Look at Captain Falcon's thighs. So this uh, this chapter of the story mode is like a simulation thing. Yeah, a little simulation mode where we have to collect uh, capsules. So we have three, I think it's three laps around, and we have to make sure we get every one of the capsules. Uh, you can't get them all in one lap. I do remember that. So we got 80 seconds. Let's do it. I'm actually doing... Uh, I, I already did it. I'm going to go for max speed for this because there's not a lot of tricky turns. See, I think when you go with max speed, it's a little bit more like finicky with your turning. So if you're not really precise, you'll go all over the place. So I generally go with uh, acceleration instead. It also means like if you get hit, you'll start up much more quickly. Uh... Like I said, I'm doing a mindless mumblings for the story mode in this game because I love it so much I wanted to talk about it. I already filmed it. Uh, it should be coming up like sometime next month. Alright. 
it's it. So I'm gonna go to the right here first. You really don't wanna miss any, so you wanna try and get as many in your first and second lap as possible. Yes. Actually, I think I, I think I got that backwards. Max speed makes it more difficult to turn. Maybe that's what I should have went with. I'm pretty sure maybe that is what I went with back in the day, and that's why I had so much trouble last time. The excuse I'm going with. I'm doing pretty good here. Uh, do I already have them? I've already got them all! Oh, maybe, uh, I should have tried this on hard. So now we're just gonna boost through the whole darn thing. Beat my score. Oh wow! I didn't beat my <laughs> I didn't beat my original score. Wow, I was really impressive back in the day. Yeah. All right, we're gonna skip that cutscene because I want to try a few more of these. Next up, we're gonna go to Goro, the Vengeful Samurai. Falcon chases a bounty into the wastes and lands in an ambush. All right, minute and 14 seconds is, is the uh, time to beat here. We're going to watch this cutscene as well because I'm actually really interested in watching these. I, I, how has he got, how does he have abs when he's that fat? Abs don't work that way. You can't be fat and have abs. Falcon ain't have none of this crap, look at him. He's like a monkey. Like a gorilla. So this is a very dangerous challenge. I have to uh, beat him in a straightforward race. Oh, wow. But uh, there's a lot of boulders falling down the cliff sides and stuff. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I definitely remember that. He does backflips to point where the finish line is. He's a worthy opponent. So much character in these guys. I think his vehicle is called the Stingray. Samurai Goro to the goal. All right, guys, here we go. This actually isn't a straightforward track. That was really, really crazy. <laughs> I like how it shows my weight. The weight of my vehicle. All right, here we go. Oh, we start off with boost power. I like this. I don't think there are any strips in this one where they will give me more boost power. So I, I believe I have to not use that right away. If I can walk away from this uh, GameCube month video and win all three of my currently unlocked story mode chapters, I'll be proud of myself. I mean, I did terrible at racing. Let's not beat around the bush. So I need to kind of redeem myself a bit. Holy cow. I'm gonna save some of my juices for last minute. And the really cool thing about the challenge mode chapters is you can not only play them on a normal difficulty, but you can play them on a hard difficulty, so some added challenge if you're man enough or woman enough to do it. Oh, hug the curve, hug the curve. Oh gosh, hug something because this is, oh gosh! Oh! You real, there's the finish line. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah! Woo! Wow, that one snuck up on me. I was just, I was in the zone. Alright, well we beat him. I like how he's really like, he falls over for some, yeah, why is he all like wrecked? What happened to him? And I think it explodes even. Watch, wait, is there an explosion? I'm pretty sure I remember an explosion. Yeah! What, what made him explode? I guess he took a lot of damage that we didn't see. I think all cutscenes in video games need to end with an explosion. Alright. Uh, I don't know if I beat my high score on that one. So this one is really difficult. Uh, after dealing with Goro, Falcon visits a city to... No, visits a club to try and relax. It's in Mute City. That's why I got mixed up. I believe this is where we get to see the old man. Oh, these cutscenes are really nice. 
I realize I've probably said that about a million times now, but I keep getting impressed. This has sort of a Star Wars vibe to it. I like that guy's jacket. Whoa, that, that crocodile back there is drunk. The voice acting is not all that great. They could have improved that a bit. I love how in this universe, in the F-Zero universe, it's like everything revolves around racing. Like that is the main thing to do in this world. Famicom is one of the characters there. All right, we have entered the race under a mysterious disguise so that we can win this old drunken man some money. Welcome to playing Nintendo games. All right, let's see if we can do this one. This one, I believe, is where it really starts to kind of pick up the difficulty setting. I don't want to end this video on failure, though, but I feel like I'm going to. So this is just a straight up race. But there are a lot of ways to cut corners in this, so you really have to know the level. Oh, you can also, that's right, you can also use the, oh, what the heck? You can also use the uh, L and R triggers to make tighter turns. I don't know how I made that ramp there. That was a little bit of a strange happening. I'm in first place somehow. Is it just possible that this was difficult for me back in the day because I was younger? Have I improved my video game skills? I don't think that I have. I'm worse now than ever before, I would imagine. Oh yeah, they're catching up now. Boosting off the ramps is a definite strategy. As you can see, you get a lot of air. Boost right through these. Don't want to go on the rough patch because it will damage my vehicle. Sharp turns! Come on, come on. And, and nothing but first place is acceptable, so... Mm. Oh, that was a really plompy landing there. It really sucked the wind right out of my sails. Plompy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I'm not gonna get it. Oh man, they were really pushing it at the end too. I feel like I can do that one. Let's retry it. I need to use the boost a little bit more often. I was only using it right before a ramp. Plompy. Hey, the guy in first place, by the way, is well, he's not in first place anymore, but he's actually one of the characters is modeled after Fox McCloud. So if you saw him, he's human, but he definitely looks like Fox. Wearing the same kind of clothes, his hair is designed to look like Fox. I think there's a Samus reference in this as well. All right. Very easy to be in first place the first lap. <laughs> Looking at these characters is pretty entertaining. Maybe we'll do that before I finish this. Because you can go to the character profiles to look at them. Learn about all these space racers. Yeah, I gotta just burst my boost. Oh, I didn't hit that? Come on. Oh boy. 11th place, I'm doing worse now than what I was originally. If I don't win this, I'm gonna give myself one more shot, and then we're gonna close the door on this uh, look at F-Zero GX, but there will be more chatter about F-Zero GX here at the Biplock. I promise you. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's gonna happen, actually. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, it could have happened. Wow, that guy is way up there. Holy cow. Well, I did better that time than the first time. All right, last chance, guys. Let's see if we can do this. Getting a little bit better using my boosters. Jeez, nobody's knocking me around. We're in a casino of the future. Where exactly do you gamble in this? How great would it be if the future actually did- Oh, whoa, 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 hey, whoa, that doesn't count. How great would it be if the future actually was this? Not me burning alive and exploding. I mean, like, just like, this is something we do in the future. It's all about racing. Intense, life-or-death racing. Right. I have to concentrate. I'm sorry, man. I have no time to yammer on. See, I think you don't want to stay in the air too long because eventually it just slows you down. But you do have a lot of control over, like, how you're sent off of those ramps. It's not just like a, a Mario Kart ramp, for example. This one, you, like, you can pull back and you get a little bit less air. Pull forward, you get a little speedier. You got boost power! Look at this speedy guy. Whoa, Joshy. Alright, alright, I'm keeping it in. Keeping it in here. Nice close race. Aw, oh, crap. I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more juice on that one. I can't really use my boost because then if somebody runs into me, I'm going to be feeling that. But I'm going to do it anyways because I'm going to live life on the edge. Whoa, where did that guy go? Somebody just shot off to the right. Burn her into the ground, Josh. Burn her into the ground, baby. Oh, mama, 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 mama. No, what are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Where did that one come from? Ah, I'm so disgusted in myself. No, I'm not disgusted in myself because I felt like that was going to happen. Oh, my gosh. You guys thought that was happening too, right? I mean, that looked like I was going to get it. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching some F-Zero GX with me here today. In my opinion, like I said, it's one of the best games for the Nintendo GameCube. I am so ready for a new F-Zero game. I can't help but feel it's going to happen sometime within the next, like, three years, right? I mean, there's got to be a Wii U F-Zero game coming out. Uh, but in the meantime, we can all just enjoy some F-Zero GX. Even though I'm pretty sure this game is pretty expensive on eBay, so it's still like 50 bucks, but still, it's worth it! It's a very sexy, high-speed game. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. I did promise we were going to look at the characters, so I, I think we need to do that. Pilot profiles. I'm really curious to look at these. Oh, crap, I don't have any of them unlocked, aside from, like, the basic ones. All right, well, we can look at these. There's Captain Falcon. <laughs> With his theme song. <laughs> That's right, I do remember these. His theme song. Machine introductions. What's machine introduction? Oh, yeah, so you can look at the machines. Sort of like looking at a trophy in Smash Brothers. Listen to this uh, music. This is very uh, 1990 music. Dr. Stewart. Samurai Goru. Pico. Let's look at Pico. Oh, look at this guy. He, Yeah, he rides in the wild goose. Wow. Look at him. I'd love to know who designed all these characters, because there's like 30 characters in this universe. He is in the, he's in the fire stingray. Again, you can't have abs when you're that fat. I might as well look at the last guy. Dr. Stewart! All right, Dr. Seward, Dr. Seward. Dr. Stewart is 42 years old. His real name is Robert Stewart. A long time ago, he was a charismatic surgeon with legendary surgical skills. However, the death of his father, Professor Kevin Stewart, provided him with the opportunity to become a pilot. A regular racer with already over 10 years of experience, he is still considered a top-class pilot. As a racer, he's known for his refined technical prowess and friendly demeanor. In the... Oh, I he doesn't, I guess he looks friendly. In the big accident four years ago, Dr. Stewart put... How much... Wow. There's a lot here. 
Uh, I might as well finish it, though. Where was I? In the big accident four years ago, Dr. Stewart put his skills as a paramedic to use and treated many of the injured maliciously due to his heroic efforts. Miraculously due to his heroic efforts, no fatalities occurred. Maliciously is a little bit different. That kind of changes the whole sentence quite a bit. All right, guys, once again, thank you for watching F-Zero GX with me. I had some fun. I'm going to continue playing this game, actually. This is a beauty. Uh, stay tuned for a lot more stuff from GameCube Month. And like I said, it's going to continue on into February. I kind of got delayed. I actually just recently moved and stuff. So uh, I kind of delayed some GameCube Month videos. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Wow, that is a cool looking craft. Oh.